right, coming up next, we're going to be doing a Peanuts showdown on Jeopardy for the week. It's going to be between Charlie Brown, Sally, and Linus. Who's going to win this showdown? You'll have to find it out as we begin. And this showdown, I will be honoring the life and legacy of beloved host Alex Trebek. Mini games. Let's play. This is Jeopardy. Peanuts edition. With Charlie Brown, and Sally, and Linus. Good luck to you guys as we get started. Let's see the categories for the Jeopardy round. For you. Classical, Classical composers. Brit speak. Brit speak. Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons. Historic, Historic Munich. Munich, pets, pets, and animals. and animals. Where do we start? All right, let's Charlie get Brown. Into this. Layer um, one. Classical composers for two hundred, please. Well, in 1762, this six-year-old and his sister performed for Empress Maria Theresa. Charlie Brown. Okay, layer one. Use the Weaver Who book is, or press the correspondence. Uh, uh, direction on the plus. Hmm. Who is Um. Control pen. And 
then press the A button. Who is Mozart? Yes, yes you're right, it. Charlie Brown. Oh. Select again. Let's go with classical composers for 400. For several years, his friend Carl Amenda was one of the few people who knew about his increasing deafness. Charlie Brown? Yes, player one. Who is Beethoven? That's it! That's it. Um, again, classical one. composer six. During his lifetime, Johann Sebastian Bach was best known as a master of this instrument. Sally. Let's hear it. Player two. When is the organ? Hey, you're right, Sally. Uh, Player two. Classical composer eight. He composed the four seasons in 1723. Charlie Brown? Player one. Who was Vivaldi? Right. Go again, Charlie Brown. You get to pick again. Composer's a thousand. On March 3rd, 1875, his Carmen premiered in Paris, and he was decorated with the French Legion of Honor. Charlie Brown. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Bizet? Hey, you're right. Correct. Pick again. Let's do player one. Brit Back Speak, here. please, for 200. Brit Speak for 200 is what you said, Charlie Brown? Uh, Brit speak for 200 is what you said, Charlie Brown? Yes. Okay. Fancy a cuppa, love? Cuppa is a cup of this. Charlie Brown. Yes, player one. What is tea? Oh, Absolutely sorry. right. Pick again. Let's pick Brit speak for four. Well, this brand name has become a noun and a verb for vacuum. Charlie Brown? It's player one. What is Hoover? Right, right you are, Charlie Brown. Let's player pick one, B Brit speak for 600. While Americans put gas in their cars, the British put in this six letter equivalent. Sally. Okay, player two. Why is petrol? <laughs> right. Two. Pick again. Layer two. 800 on Brit speak. This term for an electrical outlet sounds like a presentations program from Microsoft. Sell. Player two. What is PowerPoint? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Go again, Sally. Uh, let's do Brit speak for a thousand. As they have a tendency to burst open in the frying pan, sausages are popularly called these. Linus. Yes, player three. What are bangers? Yes. Right you are. And you're in the game, Linus. Player three. Okay, Please Linus, again, where do we go? Hmm. Let's do Historic Munich for 200. All right, Historic Munich for 200. On Munich's coat of arms, you'll find one of these religious figures who originally settled the city and gave it its name. Sally. Let's hear it. Player two. What is Monk? Good. Right. Go again, Sally. Um, Munich, again. Let's start two. Munich for 400, please. Munich's motto used to be Die Weltstadt mit Herz. The world city with this. Charlie Brown. Okay, player one. What is heart? Yes. You are correct. Uh, historic one. Munich for 600, please. Daily Double, Charlie Brown. Oh, please don't bet at all. It's Big brother. I want to catch up. You are in no, I'm not going to bet at all. No! In 1634 okay. and 1635, this deadly contagion devastated Munich, killing more than one-third of its residents. Sorry, Sally. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, what is bubonic play? Charlie Brown. You're, You're right! right. Yes! You got it! Well done! Back to you. Okay, Historic Munich Freight. The Summer Olympics in Munich in this year were sadly marred by terrorism and tragedy. Sally. It's Why is 1972? You are correct. Go again, Sally. Select again. 
Historic Munich for a thousand. In the 16th century, Munich was a center of the German phase of this movement against Protestantism. Charlie Brown. Layer one. What is the counter reformation? Is that your answer? Yeah. Yes. You got it, Charlie Brown. Go again. You get to pick again, Charlie Brown. Brown. Um, let's take pets for 200. All right. You know what? Actually, let's go with animals for 200. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. One in every six known bird species makes its home in this rainforest. Charlie Brown? It's layer one. What is the Amazon? It's also a shopping website, but you got it. Layer Let's one, do animals you, for 400. Direction. Sputniks 5, 6, 9, and 10 carried these animals into space. Charlie Brown? Let's hear it. Layer one. What are dogs? <laughs> Snoopy is one of them. And you got it, Charlie Brown. We return Snoopy is also one layer of them. One. Animals for 600, please. Got one of these odorous animals, also known as a polecat, as a pet? Call your humane society to make sure it's legal. Sally. Player two. What's a skunk? That's correct. Yes. Go again, Sally. You again. Uh, animals two. for 800, please. Critters of the Pleistocene epoch include the mammoth and this breast tooth relative. Linus. Okay, player three. What's a mastodon? Correct. Correct. Go again, Linus. Player three. Pick it Animals up. for a thousand. Dax, as in dachshund, is German for this burrowing animal. Charlie Brown? Yes, player one. What is the badger? Right. Yes. Player one. Pets Pick for up, 200. With more than 70 million living with American households, this is the most common house pet in the United States. Uh, player two. Sally? What's a cat? You are right, Sally. Go again. We return to you, player. Pets four. This type of parrot that bears the name of a South American river can get used to cooler temperatures. Um, Linus? Yes, player three. What is the Amazon parrot? <laughs> right. Go again, Linus. Player three, back to you. Pet six. Often advertised in comic books, see these are actually brine shrimp in suspended animation. Charlie Brown? Okay, player one. What is... What are sea monkeys? Is that your answer? Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Go again, Charlie Brown. You again. Uh, 800 on pets. William Howard Taft was the last pres to have one of these grazing at the White House. Her name was Pauline Wayne. Linus. Player three. What's a cow? Yes. Right. Pets you get to for pick a grand. Again, player three. One of the oldest domesticated dog breeds is the Saluki, the royal dog of this ancient people. Sally. Let's hear it. Player what are Egyptians? Hey, you are right. Please pick it Go again, Sally. Two. Meet the Robinsons for 200. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Linus. It's player three. Who is Brooks Robinson? Oh. No, that's not it. Anyone else? Sally or Charlie Brown? Sally. Okay, player two. Who's Jackie Robinson? That's it. Select again. 400, please. Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Linus. Layer three. What is Bojangles? Good. Now you're right. 
Hit again, Linus. Player three, back to you. 600. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Anybody? We're talking it about was Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson. Choose again. Player three. Where we go, Linus? 800. In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMonda to become middleweight boxing champ. Sally. Let's hear it. Player two. Who is Sugar Ray Robinson? Yes. Right. Last clue before we go to final je Here's before we go to double jeopardy. Excuse me. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Anybody? Here's what it was for. Edward. Edward Robinson. The double jeopardy round will begin right after this. Linus will get to start double jeopardy. Let's see what happens in double, double jeopardy. Jeopardy categories are awaiting the players. You're so, You're so subtractive. Sitcom siblings, sitcom siblings by show. Conductors. Conductors. Asian history. Asian history. Asian countries. Asian countries. And suffixes. And suffixes. Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection. Where, Where do we continue? start? Linus. Sitcom siblings for 400. Jody Sweeten, Candace Cameron, Mary Kate, and Ashley Olson. Sally. Yes, player two. Bob Saget played um, Danny Tanner. What is Full House? Say it however you want, Sally. You are right. Where we go, Sally? Player two. Pick again. Siblings eight. Justin Burfield, Eric Pear Sullivan, Frankie Muniz. Uh, Linus. Player three. What is Malcolm in the Middle? Yes. Correct. Pick again, Linus. You again, player three. Siblings twelve. Taryn Noah Smith, Zachary Ty Bryan, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Linus. Yes. Player three. What is home improvement? Oh, yes. Oh. Go again, Linus. Please pick again, player three. Sixteen. Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, Portia de Rossi. Um. Sally. Let's hear it. Player two. What is the rest of development? <laughs> right. Go again, Sally. Close up. We return Sim to you. Sitcom Player siblings. Two. Ralph Carter. Bernadette Stannis. Jimmy Walker. Hmm. Anybody? Here's the response. It was. For. Good time. Good time. Player two, back to you. Your turn, Linus. Still your board, Linus. You're so subtractive. For. Hmm, you are so subtractive for. For. Wait, it was Sally. Sorry. You're so subtractive for 400. It's 237 minus 113. Uh, yes, Sally? Player two. What's 114? Sorry. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we wanted. 124. That's what it was. You get to pick again, player two. Subtract to me. 117 minus 47 minus 10 equals this. Uh, Linus? Okay, player three. What is 60? Yeah. Indeed. Choose again, Six. player three. Uh, subtractive 12. 99 minus 55 minus 33 minus 11 equals this. Uh, Sally. Player two. What's zero? You are right, Sally. 
Player two, back to you for our next. 16 and subtractive. 1127 minus 121 minus 116 equals this. Oh uh, boy. Let's minus. Hear it. Player three. Hmm. What is 890? <laughs> yes. Go again, Linus. Player three. 2000 and subtractive. From the Latin for diminished, it's the term for a number from which another number is subtracted. Anybody? It was... Is the minuen. Minuen. That was confusing. Select again. Whose turn is it? It's Linus. Asian history. For two for four hundred. In the nineteen twenties, the Kemalists opposed the Sultan in this country and eventually prevailed. Linus? It's player three. What is Turkey? That's great. Yes. Go again, Linus. Player three. Eight hundred? In December of nineteen forty six, he attacked the French at Tonkin beginning a war that ended eight years later. Charlie Brown? Yes, player one. What is Ho Chi Minh? Yeah. Correct. 1,200 on one. ancient history. In 1739, the peacock throne built for Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan was stolen by these people. Charlie Brown. Okay, player one. Who are Persians? Correct. Go again, Charlie Brown. Player one. Asian okay. history for 1600, please. In 1782, when Chao Praya Chakri became King Rama I, he moved his capital across the river to this city. Sally. It's player two. What is Bangkok? That Absolutely is. correct. Sally. Choose again. Player two. Asian history 12. For 2000, excuse me. Sorry. Here's Kelly with the clue. These nomadic horsemen who overran most of Asia in the Middle Ages lived in portable lattice tents known as yurts. Hmm. This is a toughie. Here's it the was the Mongols. The Mongols. We return to you, player two. Sally. Suffixes for 400. We love this suffix that means lover of, as in audio or anglo. Sally. Yes, player two. What is final? You are right. <laughs> Please pick again. Play Great. Two. Silly rabbit. This suffix isn't for kids. It was used for female equivalents, like for women aviators. Lights. Let's hear it, player three. What is tricks? <laughs> Absolutely right, Linus. For 1,200. This suffix, as with A-C-R, or S-Y-N, is from the Greek for name. Charlie Brown. Okay, player one. What is a nim? Or nim? Say it however you want. You got it, Charlie Brown. You get to pick well, again, either player way. one. Go ahead, go again, Charlie Brown. Suffix is sixteen. The suffix os o s e is used to form the names of these, as in glucose and sucrose. Charlie Brown. Player one. What are sugars? Good. Yes. Player one. Two thousand. Daily double. <laughs> I'm going to do it all. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. Charlie and Brown's going to do it all? All right. Answer this. A three-letter suffix that forms the present participle of a verb, or before direct, an online banking group. What is he? Charlie Brown. That you are absolutely right. Head. Yes. Select again. Try conductors for 400. What did you say you wanted? Conductors for for four hundred. Uh, 
In concert, Stokowski would dramatically toss these aside to show that he could conduct from memory. Charlie Brown? Okay, player one. What are scores? You right! Player one. Conductors for 800? Marin Alsop made news in 2005 as the first one of these to lead a major American symphony orchestra. Linus? It's player three. What's a woman? Correct. It. Choose again. For 1,200 on um, conductors. Willem Mengelberg and Edward van Bynum have been chief conductors of this city's Concertgebouw. Linus? What is Amsterdam? Yeah. Correct. Player three. Conductor 16. An 1831 play by Pushkin recounts an alleged rivalry between Mozart and this composer. Hmm. Anybody got a clue? Any of you? Here's it the was we looking for. Antonio Salieri. Antonio Salieri. Player three, back to you. Conductor's 2000. On CDs with Canada's National Arts Center Orchestra, Pinkus Zuckerman conducts and plays this. Charlie Brown? Yes, player one. What is the violin? Good. Good grief, you got it, Charlie Brown. Player one, you pick again. Okay, player. let's do Asian countries for 400. That's all there is left. The world's largest blue coral reef is one of the natural treasures of this country's Ishigaki Island. Sally. Let's hear it. Player two. What is Japan? Right. Go again, Sally. 800, please. Here's Kelly. You'll find the palace seen here in this country's capital. Linus. Okay, player three. Mm, what is China? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Go again, Linus. 1,200. We return to you. Norodom Sihamoni assumed its throne in 2004. Uh, Linus. It's player three. What is Laos? No, that is incorrect, Linus. Anyone else want to hazard it? Sally or Charlie one? Brown? You want to take a shot at it? Sally. Yes, player two. What is Cambodia? Correct. <laughs> Pick again, Sally. Please. 1600. Again. In November of 1976, the United States vetoed this reunited country's admission to the UN. Linus. Let's hear it, player three. What is. Uh, Vietnam. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Pick again, Linus. Now let's take a look Last at Last clue before we go to Final Jeopardy. And it's the Daily Double. Answer. The second daily double. Charlie Brown Daily's still player. has the lead. In last place. I'll bet three thousand. Decide on your wager, player three. All right, here's your clue. Dhaka is its capital. Hmm. What is Bangladesh? Linus. Oh, You're right. Second place. Well you. done. It looks well, like all three of you will be continuing on to Final Jeopardy. Got the final Jeopardy round here for you, and today it's the category for the final Jeopardy round is economics. economics. So, all right, how know. much will you guys bet? Place your bets, guys. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction. To select an answer. And now the final clue. In 2007, this 18th century professor and writer became the first Scotsman to appear on an English banknote. Oh, oops. My bad. See, everyone did. Your response? Sally's response was Adam Smith. And that is right. She wagered 200, and that makes her finish with 12,400.
What did you put Linus in Linus put down John Stuart Mill. No, that's not right. And, oh, and how much did, will that cost him? Nothing. So he stays with 10, either way, he finishes with 15,000. Did you come up with the correct response? Charlie Brown also said Adam Smith. He is correct. And, and that correct. let's see how much he's going to add to his total. He's going to add three grand. Make him win with 35,000. And that means he wins. Good grief, I did it. So long. I'll see you for next gameplay, everyone.